Yo, what's good everyone? I am wearing the exact same thing as in the last video because I'm double recording. I just finished that one, got it live. It's actually getting a lot of views already in the first hour, so it's super cool to see. I love that you guys are enjoying the content. That shit, like, you guys don't even know. That drives me so hard. That's the reason I'm uploading every single day. So thank you guys for that. I really appreciate all the support on any video. It honestly means the world, as cliche as that might sound. But I actually thought of a really cool idea and it's something I wanna do. So if you guys have been watching my last couple videos, you know that I opened a new store and I'm not gonna be fully building it out and like running shout outs with it. Maybe at a later date, but right now I just don't have the time for that. But I wanna do a live stream on YouTube and like build out the store on that. Have you guys ask questions, like tell me what to do so we can kind of build it out in the sense that you guys want me to. So I'm gonna try and do that one of these days. Just make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm probably gonna be letting the people over there know just by posting on my story. And also, I'm gonna plug my Snapchat here. I don't really do much business related stuff, but that's just like more of a personal aspect. I do dope shit on there, I show cool cars. Anything I'm doing, especially while I'm traveling, that's where I put that. If you're gonna ask me business questions, please just do it on YouTube or on Instagram. But Snapchat's lit, and if you haven't added me over there, I'm gonna throw up a little screenshot so you can just hold it over the screen and add it. I'm honestly super curious to see how many of you actually add me. I mean, I'm, if this gets like a 1,000, 2,000 views, I'm very curious to see the conversion rate on that. But with that being said, let's jump into this video. Jumped inside of my actual Facebook ad manager and clicked on the page post tab. Uh, I have cropped it so that all you guys can see is the actual creation for this page post. Just because I obviously don't want to show you guys the store name, all the stuff, I am in a, an old ad account, so it shouldn't be the biggest deal, but it still does show a lot of stuff. So that's why I cropped it, but I'm gonna throw up a screenshot here and kind of blur everything out so you know what you have to click. You just click create post, it's super simple. Um, and then this is what you'll get. Let's say you know either you're doing a photo or a video ad, that's usually all I'm doing. Again, that's up to you, depends on the campaign you're running. But right now, this can be sick. We're gonna go through and create a Facebook ad. And just for the record, the reason I really haven't done anything on Facebook ads and I've really stuck to the Instagram side of things, first of all, that's what I'm good at, right? A lot of you don't know this, and I used to be the influencer, as weird as that might sound. I grew a lot of pages to a couple hundred thousand followers, some to well over a million. That's how I got started in kind of the whole social media realm of things, you know, even drop shipping like that kind of, it factored into that. I was, you know, people were paying me for shout outs. So very, very familiar with how that works and doing shout outs for all of this stuff. Um, so that's kind of where the credibility comes from. As for Facebook specifically and why I haven't talked on it too much is simply because I'm not an expert. That's it. I would consider myself an expert for sure when it comes to Instagram, but for Facebook, I'm not. This is such like uncharted territory for me. Yes, I'm making a little bit of money on it. It's break even simply because we have profitable campaigns, but we're testing so many right now that aren't profitable yet because we're just running through and figuring out what works and what doesn't. So we have profitable ones, a lot of unprofitable ones. So I'm not by any means an expert. I'm trying to use the data I have from Instagram and all that lookalike audience over on Facebook to then scale my campaigns and get my store to some really impressive numbers. So that's my main focus, but right now I'm gonna show you something that I, I think I'm pretty decent at. It's very similar to Instagram. Is the actual page post. This is how I do it. I don't actually do an ad inside of the Facebook. You know, when you're going through and creating the campaign, you have the option to then make an ad inside of there or use an existing post. Personally, I'm always gonna use an existing post. Um, if you go here and just click upload or browse, you can upload your image, or if you're doing a video ad, click video, you can go over, click select video uh, and upload it in from there. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. I'm gonna upload one. I just literally put in a random image for this. That's not the biggest issue, but if you guys go back and look at how I create my Instagram influencer post, this is the exact same thing I'm doing for Facebook. I changed it up a little bit. We'll probably maybe talk on that in a later video. I don't know, it's literally the same thing, but we're gonna go through and create the actual post. So this video is more centered on the text, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to build on that for Instagram, you know, how I'm doing the caption. I'm not gonna reveal that because how I do it is freaking dope and it's so unique, at least in my opinion. It's different than what a lot of other people do and it works and that's why I'm kinda keeping that to myself for right now. I am testing a lot of other stuff. But you guys are gonna see a lot of cool content coming on Instagram over the next couple weeks or so, maybe even this week. So definitely stay tuned to the YouTube channel this week and kinda see what happens there. But for right now, we're gonna stick to this post. Uh, this ad is for a shirt. Probably not the best example that I could have done because it's hard to hit people emotionally but I'm gonna give you a shitty example <laughs> of what I would do. So I'm gonna say, you know, just use this basic concept. It's like a template. I'm gonna hit them emotionally or build a hook, right? There's two different types of things you can do for the first sentence that I do a short sentence. It's an emotional or a social status hook. Right here, I'm gonna go tired of shirts that just don't fit. I'm, I'm going with this on the fly, by the way, so. Um, and then I'm gonna relate to them, the social status. Aren't we all? That's exactly why we are giving 
away. And again, this, this is not a product that's on any of my stores or whatever. This is a random ass shirt off AliExpress. And I think it says like 50% off on that little banner under it, something like that. It says 50% off dash today only. So good urgency there. Uh, that's exactly why we're giving away our best selling men's dress shirt for 50% off today. 500% off. No, 50% off today only. Claim yours here. And I would spend more time on this if I was doing it myself. I'm gonna really try and act as if I'm, I would be running this. So this is the basic outline I'm gonna do. Claim yours here. Um, and then we would insert, you would insert your uh, link. I'm just gonna go like that so you guys know. Drop down, every time I'm hitting enter, dropping down a line. I'm gonna show you something that builds off that in a second. But claim yours here, link. Um, and then under it, I would say, hurry. Supplies won't last. Dot, dot, dot. I love the dot, dot, dot. I use that for everything. But now I'm gonna go back through it. I don't know if I've mentioned it on YouTube. I think I have two emojis, right? I use this for Instagram as well as Facebook. I always use two emojis. Um, so if you wanna go through and throw in an emoji, usually right around here after that first sentence. I like to keep that at not a full sentence. I usually try and stick to like four to six words. This one's seven, whatever. Something around there where it's like a short sentence that relates to them, immediately hits them, like I said, emotionally or with social status. This, I guess, would kind of be emotionally, you could say tired of shirts that just don't fit. Yeah, you know? You ever gotten pissed off because you have a shirt that just doesn't quite fit, you know? You're relating to them with that, you relate to them even further and seal the deal there with aren't we all. It's exactly why we're giving away our best selling men's dress shirt for 50% off today only. Claim is here. Oh, this should be a capital. It's like pretty good. Then you throw in the link. And if you guys don't know how to shorten the link, go to your product on AliExpress, go all the way down to the bottom, click SEO metadata, I believe it is. Scroll down a little bit further and you can change the link, make it as short as you can. Say like, say like men's dress, men's dash dress shirt, something super simple, you know, if you were doing this product. Um, and then you're gonna have a link. Let's say your store's name is Cool Shirts. So www.coolshirts.com slash, and it's gonna say, slash store, slash collection, slash product, slash men's dress shirt. So you wanna get rid of that store and collection, so it just says www.coolshirts, slash products, slash dress shirt, or whatever it was. So you can shorten it a lot, just make sure, you know, whatever you're shorting it to, copy paste it, go put it in Google and make sure it works. I've messed up on that. I've also actually had some campaigns, um, it's gonna make me look stupid. I've had campaigns that started to do really, really well, um, just numbers wise, super cheap uh, cost per action. And <laughs> I had the wrong link. Motherfucker, I'm so stupid, but it happens, you know? So make sure the link works, make sure it's the right link, have someone double check it if you have a partner or whatever, because you know, if you're building out campaigns at 3 a.m., you might miss something. But hurry, supplies won't last. So back to the emoji thing. I'm gonna try and throw in an emoji here, tired of shirts that just don't fit. I'd put like an angry or frustrated face, again, that relates to them and that transitions into where you really relate to them in the line below with aren't we all, that's exactly. And I and the word exactly, I did not mention this actually in a video yet that's coming soon with that Instagram project I'm talking about, but the word exactly is a super affirmative word. It's like, it builds authority, right? You wanna say like, that's exactly why I don't like you. People are like, oh, oh shit, okay, yes sir. Like, you know, it's, it's authority, it's authoritative. Uh, I'm gonna throw up this cool quick little clip from this documentary I watched, it was awesome, talking about like tone of voice, and that relates super well to these words, you know, exactly, and like just how they're doing. Just watch this little clip for five seconds. Get out of my box. There is no box. Now he's going to adopt an alpha chimp's voice, low in tone and loud in volume. Suddenly, everyone is going out of their way to avoid trespassing on the Alpha Chimps' territory. Gamma box, gamma box. No one stops to think why. They're just instinctively doing what he says. Get out of my box! They'll even stop in their tracks to Gamma. obey his unusual Gamma. but masterful command. Gamma box. With his alpha voice, our chimp has become king of his jungle box. Get out of my box! Weeding there actually because some of them are almost stepping into the box and then uh, stop and then go round just without even consciously being aware of it. 
they're so influenced by the authority of his tone that they're obeying his command, just like in chimps. Get out of my box! It's a nice box. Thanks. So I was in this little documentary with a ton of different experiments and this dude drew a box in the middle of a busy subway station when he was talking super low like, get out of my box. Nobody gave a shit. People were walking through his box. And then when he started yelling, get out of my box, like, and people would literally jump out of the way. So that's exactly what you just saw. People literally jump out of their way, like, don't move. Like, that's exactly why. So it's affirmative. It's authority. They're like, I don't know. That's why I like using words like that. I always throw in exactly in both my Instagram and Facebook ad uh, product descriptions or like the actual ad copy itself. So that's interesting. As for emoji number two, we got a little off topic there. Hurry, supplies won't last. I like to do something after this. Um, depends on who you're targeting. If you're targeting girls, you could do like the, the face emoji with the heart eyes. That seems to work well. You could do those two little pink hearts, like a bigger one and then a little one up above it. Um, or you could do a call to action arrow, like the, the hand thing that's pointing. That can work. It really just depends on the product you're doing. Maybe you could put a shirt emoji. That's something you'd want to test. You know, if you're running different audiences, which you should be, you can just run through and test different ad copy as you're testing the audience interest and just kind of, I wouldn't necessarily spend time isolating the variable of ad copy itself if you know it's good. Like for me, I know I've studied that. I've isolated that before. So if you know your stuff's good, just kind of change it as you change around your targeting and test different campaigns. And off of that, you should be able to figure out what works best for this. But I would go ahead. Uh, I always do only use this post for an ad. And actually the reason I'm doing a page post over actually creating it inside of the ad itself, like when you're setting up all the targeting and whatnot, is super, super simple. And I see a decent amount of people who don't do this and I think they just don't know why. If you look at the image I put on here, this is a very regular image. It's a regular size, it's like a Facebook post. But if you're like, that's the, you know, that's the sizing inside of Canva, which is how I make all the posts, which we talked about for the Instagram video. But if you're gonna make it inside of the actual ad itself, it chops it, it like, it's super short, like vertically speaking. And so it like, it doesn't even crop it. It just like, it'll chop it off. So you'll only be able to see like half of this. That's why I like page posts. Um, it's also a little bit more native and I like the structure of this right here, the actual ad copy better. Uh, and I'm going to show you, let's just pretend we have emojis here. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a good example. I'm going to create the post. I'm going to click on it. And I know you guys can't see this part cause it's so cut off. There's the shirt, by the way, it says 50% off today only. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can't see this. I'll make this super fast. I promise. Click edit post. Click on the end of each line, hit enter, hit enter again, hit enter again, and click done editing. That way it drops it down and then right after the link, it'll display the link and then they'll have to click see more. So that's usually the best way to see it because they're like, oh, what else do they say? See more and boom, it just adds scarcity, hurry, supplies won't last with an emoji. And it's that whole thing, like a picture speaks a thousand words. That's why I use emojis. Um, because you don't want to use a lot of words and have a super long ad copy, at least for stuff like this, in my opinion, based on my own results. So that's why I like emojis. I think it's a, a major key in a lot of stuff that people mess up on and don't really use. But that's exactly how I'm setting up my Facebook ads. Like it's super simple, it's not complicated. I'm doing pretty much the same thing for both video and picture ads. Right now I'm testing a lot of everything. I'm actually doing pretty well with some viral video campaigns. So if you're in a niche that allows that and you can find some videos, I would definitely recommend testing that. I'm trying to stick on Instagram just because that's what I know I'm good at and that's what's brought me the results I have so far. But if you guys want more videos on Facebook, you can go ahead and let me know down below and I might make some more, it just depends. But if you haven't already, be sure to join the fam by hitting that nice looking subscribe button down below. And I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace.